Okay guys, we are back and I am so excited to be getting down to opening these animatronics. Most people who buy these animatronics have them set up well before Halloween, but I'm so busy at Halloween season that I don't get a chance to do it until after. But that's okay because they are awesome, and if you're anything like me, it is Halloween all year long. So today we are looking at Lil Jack Carver. He is totally awesome. I saw him in so many stores. Let's start out by taking a look at the box here. As I said, this is from Spirit Halloween 2023. This is Lil Jack Carver. Look at the look on that guy's face. Very cool. I love the design of this guy. I wish I had a hay bale, though, that I could set him on, but I don't right now. But anyways, little Jack Carver, arms quickly raise the jack-o'-lantern above his head, lights up with yellow LEDs while he screams for an added fright, stands three feet, six inches tall, extends up to four feet, three inches tall. Let's go ahead and spin the box around here and look at each size. We have pretty much the same things written right there. There's just another picture of Lil Jack Carver. On the back here, you can see that he was $169.99, and with anything you buy at Spirit Halloween, I will always remind you that you can get 20% off whether it is in stores or online. With that being said, here is a story about Little Jack Carver. You can read that on the website or you can pause this and read it for yourself right there. Here it tells you some things you need to know about him. Sensor activated, volume control adapter, external speaker jack, blah, blah, blah. It has that on all of these so you pretty much know what you're looking at. Little Jack Carver, here's a picture on the back of him with his head down, with the pumpkin down over over his head, I guess I should say. And then up above is a picture indicating that he rips the pumpkin off his head to reveal that face and scares the living crap out of you. So there's the front of the box again. And it is time to get down to unboxing this guy and setting him up. Oh good, this is like poor George's box as well. And I love when they do this because it makes it so easy. They put a box within the box so you just have to slide it out and then grab everything from right there instead of trying to grab everything from inside the box. And this one came with a card that talks about the zombie tech squad. So if you have any problems with your animatronic, you just give them a call. And most of the time, they can help you fix whatever it is that you need fixing. Okay, so we got a couple of foam pieces here. Those are probably his legs. We have the pumpkin that goes over his head. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. This is pretty cool. The only thing I don't like about this is that the back, it's not like a full pumpkin all the way around. I'm not sure why they do that. It's just a fabric flap, but maybe it helps with the animatronics action. I just don't know. We have his outfit here and the instructions. These are probably his knees, I guess. We have a box. So that even says a little Jack Carver. That is his mechanism in there. Here is his head connected with some uh, other foam pieces that would make up his arms. And then we have a base. This is probably the smallest base I've seen on any animatronic. And if we open this box, we have the power adapter. And like I said, just his, uh, his power box here, his voice box. Oh my gosh, guys, look at the face on that guy. I love Halloween props. <laughs> This guy is so awesome. Okay, so we have his clothes here. Oh, here's another piece that was wrapped up in his clothes. We have the base, and we have the instructions. That, 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 that. Okay, so we begin with the base pointing out like this. This part goes on here. Okay, pretty easy so far. Then Jack's head goes right on there. All right. Hey, buddy, how you doing there? Then the pumpkin mask. Get a close-up on this. <laughs> I love that pumpkin mask. Okay, so that goes... Where's the... Okay, there's a plug there. Okay, that plugs in there. Then this goes right down on top here. What the heck? That's not right. That is... What the heck? Like, there's these two little niches here, but they're on the side like this. And the parts that go in are right here. Okay, so this is a strange setup here. Apparently this goes on sideways. What in the world? And then you turn it to snap it into place. Okay, I guess that'll go up or down when we plug it in. Okay, so these are like farmer jeans. Farmer Joe jeans. <laughs> but I guess first we put these 
knee parts on. Something like that. Okay, so I guess these go in the pants. I'm trying to get a kid dressed for school. And this wraps around the top. Why do I have so much difficulty putting these things together? Put the pants on under the leg form. Okay. What? What in the world is it supposed to fit in there? What the heck? You're angering me, little Jack. Okay, I think we got it. What in the world? I don't know. I guess that's right. You got a wire here. Attach the control box to the metal tube with round plastic mount. Wires to plug in. Place the shirt over the assembled body form. All right, so that's Velcro. This foam is so thin and bendable that it's impossible to get it through this stupid sleeve. I don't love you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Got to get my fingers through this labyrinth here. There's one. Jack, I am really not liking you right now. What is this? All right, hold on. I'm gonna connect the step pad before we go any farther. And while we're at it, let's get the adapter going. Okay, now we connect the pants to the shirt. What the heck? What is this Velcro for here? Ah, okay. Shirt Velcro's on the side inside the pants. I'm gonna need a week's rest after I get done with this guy. Oh my gosh, come here. Cut me deep, Jack. You cut me real deep just now. Ugh. Attach the arms to the head. Ah, okay. One, two. All right, almost there. Adapter, power switch, we got that taken care of. So apparently he's done. Let's plug him in and get this going before I kill him. Okay, step pad. Okay, I had to move him over a little bit because his cord wasn't long enough. There we go, hold on, one more light. Oh, yeah, there we go. He looks pretty cool all lit up like that. All right, let's give him a test here. <laughs> he ripped that thing off his head so fast. That was crazy. Let me get the lights back on here. We'll take a good look at him. Okay, so yeah, amazingly, he was kind of difficult to put together. Um, I don't know, just, just really weird. The foam in his legs, I'm not exactly sure how far up in there it's supposed to go. I actually had to fold it over and stick it up in the legs there because it was sticking out the bottom. But look how cool he looks. He is really, really awesome. Let's get him going once here. <laughs> Very cool. His laugh kind of reminds me of Johnny Punk. I don't think it was the same person who did the voice for Johnny Punk, but he does sound a lot like him. I do like how the pumpkin stays lit, too, the whole time. Because that way, if you walk up and you see him on the porch, he's already lit up. You don't expect anything. But if he wasn't lit up and he didn't light up until you tripped him, then you would know that something is coming. So you walk up on the porch to get your trick-or-treat. He's already lit up, and you're like, oh, look at this cool little pumpkin boy. <laughs> <laughs> and he scares the living crap out of you. All right, guys. Well, there he is, little Jack Carver. Let's turn him this way a little bit. That way he's facing you. He is an awesome animatronic. I'm so glad I bought him. And when he rips that pumpkin off his head, it's so fast and he's so loud that it literally scares the crap out of you. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!